Hi everybody, thank you for joining me here at Friendship Shaving. I hope you're having a good day today. I've got just 24 hours growth today. I'm going to be shaving with the Aluminium Timeless Razor, the ALSB45. And the soap I'm using today, which I've got lathered up, is a TikTok soap from the Oz Shaving Company. I'll tell you more about that and the trouble I've been having with another one of their soaps, the Tornadic. Uh, I've been having real difficulty with that one, but we'll talk about that as we go along. The razor blade I've got in today is a Gillette Silver Blue on its third use. So, going to add a little bit more moisture to my face again and we can start with today's shave uh, you'll be picking it up a little later in the day than you normally do but the soap I've got today the TikTok is a vanilla coffee tobacco scented soap it's got a sweet vanilla base with notes of black coffee and a little bit of smoky warmth to the top notes so we'll put that on the face and you can see i've actually built a nice lather with this one Smells quite nice. I'm definitely picking up a little bit of smokiness and I can smell the tobacco. I've actually got a really nice lather with this soap. The Tornadic that I was using was entirely different and it's really thrown me. Uh, I felt that I was in the twilight zone for a while there. I was watching more of Chris Bailey's videos last night. I am CDB and he was talking about how easy sterling soaps are to lather and indeed they are. Um, and how sometimes soaps that have um, some skin food in them can be you know difficult sometimes if you're a beginner. And uh, I was watching that as for the last few days I've been having a real difficulty with this soap. First time I lathered it up. I maybe used a little less soap than I should have done, but I used the same amount as I normally do. And that's sometimes the case when you get a brand new soap, new to you, a soap that you've not used before, that sometimes it may take a little bit more than you normally use. Well what happened on that one was that it just disappeared out of my bowl and there really wasn't anything on my brush at all. I added a drop of water and basically I ended up with just a very small amount of scented, kind of scented white water. Um, it was very strange indeed. I've never had anything like it. So I tried again using more soap. I essentially used, because um, this is a 9.3 gram sample pot. I essentially used about a third of the pot each time. Second time I did a little better but really I couldn't shave with it. And I came back and had a third attempt last night, just came in here and thought, do you know what, I'm going to use the last of my sample and I'm going to crack this. I did better, but I ended up with a very, very wet 
or other with not much volume so I had real difficulty with that one now they do have a new base the uh, Oz Shaving Company but I don't think the one I've got is the new base and this soap the TikTok was just beautiful to lather up really no problems at all so it was a very strange experience but we got there with the TikTok and we're in here for a nice shave with a timeless razor which is fantastic I've not used a timeless razor before they are quite expensive but this one is machined entirely out of aluminium and it offers the timeless quality for a greatly reduced price this one comes out at 75 US dollars And it's a touch under 78 grams so of course it is a lightweight razor being that it's aluminium but it's got a really nice sized handle it's 14 millimeters diameter 90 millimeters in length it's quite chunky and it's really nice to hold i particularly like this unknurled indentation in the middle that seems just right for my finger there and just very comfortable indeed now it has the solid bar and a 0.45 millimeter blade gap and you can see perhaps that you know it is a small blade gap there is a little bit of positive blade exposure with this razor it is 0 0.002 so it really is a little bit of positive blade exposure It's described on the timeless side as a mild razor I think it is a mild razor um, but there is a little bit of blade feel with it now, I'm not such a fan of the positive blade exposure by you know myself um, but it's okay on this and uh, I've been enjoying some very nice shaves with this razor here we are I've got absolutely I used about an almond sized piece of soap and I've got absolutely loads of glorious lather here so I just can't describe what was going on with that soap. I just, I don't know. Very, very strange. But this one is stunning. It smells nice. It's a mildly scented soap. But yeah, it's nice. And the lather you maybe can't see, but the lather is not white. It is a... Uh, slight coffee colour to it I'm using my small yaki brush today 
La Sagrada Familia. A uh, lovely brush this with the tuxedo knot, so very nice. Now let's get back to this razor. Can you see the scalloped head? That's really well done, really it's beautifully machined. That scalloped head is very popular these days. It, uh, I think it first was bought out by the Kirby Beard Company. Way back in the 1930s. And although they were a British company, they sold mainly in France. But I believe it was uh, Doug and Fran at the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements that re-established the scalloped head in uh, a sort of tribute to the Kirby Beard Company razor. I believe it was the Prismatic. That sounds about right. And since that time... The scalloped head has been showing up all over. It's very attractive design. This one is really well done. There's the knurling on the handle. It's not too deep, but somehow when wet, for me, the handle seems sort of stickier than it is when it's dry. And I'll tell you what, this razor is beautifully weighted. I do get a little bit of that, you know, when I first pick it up because it's aluminium. And you think, oh, that's light. Um, once you start using it though, it's just really nice. It's about the same weight as the twig that I've been using. But of course with the twig, the shape of the handle means that the bottom of the handle is the weighty part. But this is, this is beautifully weighted and balanced. I can feel with that. Very slight positive exposure. I can really feel that. And I know that I'm not quite, I've used it a few times now, not quite getting exactly the right angle. Sometimes I get it perfectly, other times can feel that blade feel a little bit more so it's taken me a little while to, to just get it I feel the window for the right spot is quite small I do think if you had very sensitive skin even with that small blade exposure you'd have to be careful with this one but I am enjoying it. That said, now this is a great soap. I'm liking this. I've done really well with this one. I've got enough here for about six passes. I 
think the Gillette Silver Blue is uh, it's working very well, but it's not the smoothest razor I could use in this. Uh, the smoothest razor blade I could use in this razor. I think I'll experiment with some different ones. If you like a bit of blade feel, this is definitely a nice razor for you. I prefer not to have that these days. Where I was going now. That very nearly caught me there. Just goes to show you where eh? a small blade gap yeah, doesn't mean anything. It can still catch you unawares. There we are, that's my third pass with the timeless razor. It's a good option an aluminium razor I think from them because um, you know their normal razors are quite expensive. This one has you can see a different shaped guard plate to their normal razors. Um, it's a nice razor I can feel because of that blade exposure for me There's a tendency there, just for a little bit of razor burn, um, it's something to be aware of. I guess it boils down to, if you like a positive blade exposure, you'll probably like this, and if you don't, you probably won't. Now to go with that, I'm going to use my um, moisturising balm from Executive Shaving. A little bit of a spicy scent to it. I feel it will go well with this sort of coffee and tobacco. Yeah, definitely a little bit sore down there. Just a, you know, just a smidgen. I'm waiting guys for my Goodwill razor to come back from Razor Emporium. I hope that it will arrive soon. I shall video myself opening it once it comes. My toggle is on its way. They are both in the post somewhere, and uh, we'll have to see what they're like when we get them back. I'm looking forward to it. So hopefully I'll be able to show you one of those on the next show. 
Thank you for joining me and being part of my shave today. I will get this video uploaded straight away and hopefully I'll see you very soon. You take care of yourselves. All the best now. Bye bye.